Thank you very much. Um, I want to begin by thanking the organizers of this conference for inviting us uh, to come here. I come from Africa with a lot of greetings to the participants of this conference. Now, I was asked to talk briefly about the status of the world, where the world is, where it's going, and how can it be made better. I think judging by the two statements that have been made here, it's obvious that the status of the world is unhealthy. There are some parts of the world which are in better condition than the others. So you can say that others are fair, others are in what you can call uh, uh, high dependency units, to use medical terms, and others, like in Africa, are in uh, intensive care units. Now, the global, the global financial crisis is one issue. The brain drain, basically from the poor to the richer countries of the world, is another. The effects of globalization, global food crisis, poverty and health issues, and climate change, and global warming. These are issues that affect Africa as they affect other parts of the world. They say that when the USA coughs, Europe catches cold, and Asia develops pneumonia, and Africa's tuberculosis gets worse. This is what we are already beginning to see that America's mortgage crisis has spiraled into the largest financial shock uh, since the Great Depression. And they are saying that there is now a chance, one in four, of a full-blown global uh, recession over the next 12 months. That's what the IMF is saying. Now, Africa suffers from brain drain that is the migration of the people from the poor south to the north in search of better opportunities. This is affecting Africa adversely. Health services are suffering as those who are trained migrate to go and look for greener pastures in the north. This also translates the disparity between the north and the south also translates into immigration. Then you have the issue of uh, global food crisis. This is something that is affecting Africa very adversely. The question is, are there too many people? Or uh, are we producing too little? According to FAO, there's enough food. In fact, there's 1.5 times the food that is required by the people of the world. But there are other issues that actually contribute to the food crisis. A number of countries in the South, particularly in Africa, are forced to move away from food production to cash crop production in order to earn foreign exchange to service the debts with which they are settled. Then there is also the overconsumption in the North. 80% of production is consumed by the wealthiest nations, only 20% by the poor. Whereas the population in the North is suffering from obesity, those in Africa have serious shortages. Of course, I don't want to give statistics about the health and so on. But I want to say this. A lot of changes have taken place in the continent of Africa since the fall of the Berlin Wall over 20 years ago. The wind of change that blew over Eastern Europe also came to the African continent. And it's so 
single party dictatorships, military dictatorships, one man rules, tumbling down and being replaced by more democratic systems of governance on the African continent. Africa has more the African people have demonstrated that they themselves want change. Whether they are monks demonstrating in the streets of Burma, whether they are Iranian bloggers voicing their opposition online, or they are Pakistani voters who are defying terrorist attacks, people are showing that they are willing to take their destiny into their own hands and want their most to say.